Welcome to the Urban Dictionary, the number one authority on the English language. Let's get into some words now. So, Urban Dictionary, we got a whopping 10, as always, of the tastiest words I could find. That's, <laughs> that's my new word now, tasty. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we start with the cucumber forest. When a bunch of guys have their dicks out. Also known as a, uh, a circle jerk. <laughs> cucumber forest. <laughs> the next one is called porridge. I don't know what this person did. <laughs> I think it's somebody's name. It says, to be a big fat piece of shit. No regard for human life whatsoever. Overall fat bass or tax evading piece of shit. <laughs> the last part, I don't understand. <laughs> Why he's so mad about the tax evasion? He <laughs> watches the IRS person that was trying to catch him for years. He couldn't fucking find him. Yeah, uh, tax evading son of a bitch. Dirty motherfucker. <laughs> Next one is a, a boof train. B-O-O-F. Boof. It is multiple people butt fucking. I guess in a train, like oh. back, yeah, like like a like the human centipede. Oh, only dick to ass. Oh, <laughs> that smelled just as bad as a human centipede. <laughs> well, we don't know. <laughs> uh, the next one is change purse. That one's simple. It's a dude's nutsack. I mean, there's no. I mean, yeah, the change for change purse. Uh, uh, next one is pocket liver. And it's, it, to me, it's fucking hilarious because it says a tall, slender man with a good sense of humor, no direct correlation to pockets or the vital organ. So I was like, why the fuck is he called pocket liver? It's, that's what I found so ironic. It's like the wise called liver. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Next one is D-bag. A person, yeah, apparently just as D-bag. It says a person who goes out in New Balance tennis shoes and is unable to keep his feet together. Uh, <laughs> along with that, you also have to uh, send threatening text messages. Have a 250-pound girlfriend. Also has to be a hillbilly. Uh, symptoms of a D-bag are big and dumb, weird goatees, bipolar, control freak, and other douchebag react actions. Man titties as well. So they just they just tore into whoever they saw one day, and they just <laughs> tore into this person. <laughs> I can think of a few people that fit the description. <laughs> Next one is Olive Garden. Oh, Lord. The act of pouring olive oil on your penis and then fucking a the vagina, then eating out. Olive Garden. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I like this one. This one's from uh, Log Flogging. It's uh, a hand job on a well endowed man. You gotta use two hands, I guess. <laughs> log Flogging. <laughs> Basically. Uh, next one is Super Bowl. Uh, name for the biggest professional sporting venue. The National. I just, I just wanted to find the Super Bowl. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> the National Football League, the Super Bowl debuted in 1966 to then has become the biggest event in all of sports with the number of since WrestleMania, with the number of spectators <laughs> and with the number of spectators in attendance, the amount of revenue created through TV ads slash commercials, how profile celebrity attendance and TV ratings does surpass any other sporting championship ratings. And it's also because it's it's one and done. Right. Like there's no the best of seven. Like this is it. I, it's not like the World Series or something like right. that. Right. Like you, this is all you got. You gotta give everything you have for this win. And then that, that that to people that for people that will always be more in you know than a fucking like a three two out of three. I've never liked that. Like, yeah, like you fucking do it and you do it one time. That's all you got. Then you go cry when your team loses. Like it's just the way it is. Just fucking b b b ball your eyes out. Like damn it! You can be like the Buffalo Bills that lose four in a row. The only team to lose four Super Bowls in a row. The greatest <laughs> team to never win. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, Special K Man. Lord. The guy in prison with the. Ah. I forgot. I forgot what this was until so I just read. <laughs> and how fucking shocked I was. <laughs> you caught your breath. Yeah, I was like, oh, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> the guy in prison with the most cooch like butthole. He is the most prized of all the inmates. Good Lord. <laughs> so they come downstairs. So the absolute fucking train wreck. They must wear this man's booty hole clean out. Oh, it'd be like that one dude where he's like, "I like you and I want you." <laughs> like that one guy is like, uh, "No, Mister Hanson, I, I don't like. I don't want little boy booty. I want Joe booty." <laughs> like he he snuck onto the Chris Hanson show that to catch a predator. Yeah, to rape Chris Hanson. <laughs> it's one of the Boondocks. Like Chris Cat and Chris Hanson comes out like, why are you here? You here to have sex with a twelve year old? Like, no, Mister Hanson, I don't want a little boy buddy. I want your buddy. <laughs> huh? Like, I'm not into little children, Mister Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> <Are> you. 
<laughs> shit was fucking hilarious. If somebody really did that on the Chris Hansen show, that shit would have fucking got all called the ratings. <laughs> fucking Chris Hansen fighting for his life. <laughs> Call the police and call the police. Yeah, like it took for in the in the show, it took forever for the cops to get there. Like he got his hands on him all kinds of ways before the cops showed up. Uh, all right, so that's it for uh, uh, Urban Dictionary. I hope I hope I haven't ruined your life yet. You did. I'll find I'll find a way. <laughs> Maybe I'll look up Mexican flamingo. Oh God! I'll tell you later. <laughs> That'll be in the next episode. <laughs> Mexican flamingo. Yeah. Uh, let's look at him now. Go ahead. All right, everybody, give us give us a second. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> this was in the game Sherlock Holmes Awakening, like a detective game. He's because so I found a, I found a like you're, 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 you're Sherlock Holmes, right? You're solving murder mysteries and stuff like that. Right. I found a note saying that some guy was caught doing a, a Mexican flamingo with someone else. This can't be the same thing. It probably is. Uh, balancing a shot glass on the tip of a penis while pouring sh- a shot and then ramming it into some dude's ass. Oh. Uh-uh. Poor Charlie received the Mexican flamingo <laughs> during the night out with the boys. It was never the same after that. But I would, I would think so. A fucking whole shot glass? Good Lord. Oh. Uh. I can do two. <laughs> you caught him beat. <laughs> I can do two of them. Well, that ruined my night. Not as much as the the last time we, that that last episode we were fucked up after what we heard done and talked about. I was fucking devastated all day. See, I was more devastated to learn that apparently that ain't the only time they've ever done it. Yeah, well, that's it for that'll be news next time. <laughs>